Glories to God as Amrita and her kind Lord Danvantari. The Supreme Source, Divine Healers, may we be blessed with their love flow. When during Japa meditation, the listening of the well-pronounced mantra is not enough to concentrate the mind, some other help may be taken shelter of. That is in particular two things. A. The breathing and counting of the mantra according to the breath. And B. A short aphorism or part of another mantra that is remembered after every inhalation. For example, one may chant the mantra audibly one or two times, then breathe out with the remaining air repeating in the mind the first half of the mantra, then breathing in thinking the second half of the mantra, and then before starting again to chant audibly, remember the small aphorism, which might be the Bija mantra of the deity of the main mantra. So, for example, if we are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare, then with the remaining air we chant the first half of the mantra in the mind, then while inhaling we chant the second half of the mantra, and before again starting we remember the Bija mantras of Radha Krishna and then again we chant the main mantra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare If you don't know the Bija mantras for Radha Krishna you can of course use any other small aphorism or mantra for example I would recommend Gaura Gaura is the combined form of Radha Krishna, which means golden. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's short name is Gaura, which comes from Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So after inhalation, I would recommend to remember Gaura. Thank you very much for your attention, your questions. And